we will be watching, monitoring and holding to account the promises of facts and on track. Our local politicians, Thomas George and uh, Jeff Provost, said this is not a government issue. And I'm just thrilled to bits to see how many of you have come out and it's not surprising because women have worked for decades, decades, to get the appropriate services that we need, uh, not only in this community but right across Australia. And so you can see from today women and men that support that will not stand by and see services, particularly in our local area where domestic violence is such a major issue, we will not see those services tampered with. And can I say, it's a very sad situation when uh, it's actually today that Rosie Batty, the Australian of the Year, finishes that role and will be replaced. So how ironic that we need to now come out as a community on that very day and say, do not reduce services to women in this community. And so thank you very much for being here, for caring so much. And I know with uh, the resources that we have there, we will ensure that we will retain the services that this community deserves. So thank you very much. Thank you. And I want to say, sorry, you're the state candidate, aren't you? Not the uh, federal candidate. No, I, I am the federal you candidate. Are the so uh, when the federal election is called, uh, then yes, I will be running for the Greens. Spring, you know, the funding does not sit in, uh, in her portfolio. Our Federal Member of Parliament for Richmond, who has been a very big support in this process, so I'd like to just welcome you to Thank you. Thanks so much, Carmen. Can I uh, also acknowledge the traditional landowners and pay my respects to Elders past and present? Can I particularly thank all of you for coming out today to make your voices heard about how important it is to save this service. And the fact is, Tweed Valley Women's Service is worth saving. We need to save this service for our community. Yeah. Yes, we do, absolutely. It is yeah. worth saving. Yeah. This is worth saving. This is a fantastic service. I've been involved with them for many years. It's been an honour and a privilege to be the patron of the service. I work very closely with a lot of the people involved. And can I tell you, it was a shameful act that happened just before Christmas when their contract was suddenly cut. Yep. We started a petition. Now, this is calling on the state government to reinstate the $580,000 in funding to the Women's Service to make sure they can reopen and operate. The state government can fix this today. They can fix it today. They can announce that funding. It's also really important, as you've heard, to keep that pressure on, on track because what they did was absolutely appalling. We all know how important this service is for more than 30 years providing a, a very wide array of important services to women and children, particularly those fleeing from domestic violence. Well, the service worth saving and we will keep on fighting to save it to make sure that women and children in our community will be able to access services like the Tweed Valley Women's Service. And thank you all for coming today. for this uh, rally. I'm just sort of disappointed and disgusted that On Track uh, has not even just come out and acknowledged the pain that they've created by closing the Tweed Valley Women's Service and just to give those women some validity of you know, why they closed. What have they done wrong? You know, they made allegations. They've been answered, so they're clear. So 13 jobs gone, and now we've got over 20 odd women who've knocked on the door in Mawoomba looking for service. We've got to get this service back to the Tweed Valley Women's Service. Do what they do good at, you know, because on track, we can't come to this kind of environment. They even close the doors in you know, us coming here just to ask some questions, you know, which need answers. And we won't stand back and just let the doors be closed. We'll talk to the board, we'll talk to the CEO, we'll keep going because this fight has just started. Since November, 
just gone, we last year we've been homeless. I went to on track and they all this stuff closed down with the services, women's service closing down that they allocated all their houses. Me and my girls, they offered me and my girls we've got a tent and every other week they just offered to buy us a new tent. And I've got daughters that are going into womanhood, we've got nowhere to stay. And I just think, yeah, on track is doing the wrong thing. Wrong thing. The first law is woman, mother, earth, mother, respect. Mm. And so I just, that's what I said, yeah, we just need it out, need it out, and something needs to be done because my daughters are, one's a A grade, A student, year 11, the other one, Reader's Premiership, New South Wales. The little twins are 11 years old, chess champions, and they just wanted us out of the house, they got us out of the house, and now we're homeless on the riverbank.